children i'm sushma and today we are going to learn about rates of reactions we will also take a look at the factors affecting the rates of reactions well we all know that in a human body various reactions take place when we wake up we have breakfast in the night we have dinner the food we eat is not raw it is cooked food for cooking food we require a stove the stove requires fuel fuel can be of any form such as firewood kerosene coal or cooking gas well the fact is that fuels contain carbon and its compounds when we cook food fuel is burnt that means carbon reacts with the atmospheric oxygen this reaction produces heat this heat is used for cooking food the reaction takes a few seconds or a couple of minutes digestion of food in the human body is also a type of chemical reaction here solid food is converted into suitable products which are absorbed by the human body digestion of food takes about 3 to 4 hours milk is converted into curd this is also a chemical reaction the process requires a few hours due to the time taken to complete the reaction the reaction can be of three types fast reactions slow reactions and moderate reactions let's study each type of reaction have you ever burnt the magnesium ribbon during diwali yes it burns with a sparkling light so you must have noticed that after the burning of the ribbon is completed a white powder is left let me explain how this happens here magnesium burns with the help of the atmospheric oxygen and forms magnesium oxide which is a white powder the reaction is a fast reaction this chemical reaction can also be called as chemical transformation here the magnesium is transformed into magnesium oxide the starting material which starts the chemical reaction is called as reactants here magnesium and oxygen are the reactants the material obtained after the completion of the reaction is called as product in this case magnesium oxide is the product the product formed is entirely a different compound and has nothing to do with the reactant the chemical reaction is also shown in the form of symbols and formula this is known as a chemical equation now let us look at some more examples of chemical reaction take marble chips in a test tube add some hydrochloric acid into this you will notice a brisk effervescence this effervescence is due to the liberation of carbon dioxide this reaction is also an example of a fast reaction now hold the moistened blue litmus paper near the mouth of the test tube you will notice that it will change to red thus confirming the evolution of an acidic gas which is carbon dioxide take some zinc pieces in a beaker add hydrochloric acid to it hydrogen gas will evolve from this this is an example of a fast reaction keep the shining iron nails in the air for several days you will find rust on the nails how does this happen well let's see iron when it reacts with atmospheric oxygen forms iron oxide which is also known as rust since the reaction requires a few days thus it is a slow reaction 
Since the digestion of food requires a few hours that neither few seconds nor few days. Hence, it is a moderate reaction. Let us discuss one more example of moderate reactions. For this, let's study about the hydrolysis of methyl acetate. Did you know that methyl acetate belongs to the ester family? Reaction of any reactant with water is known as hydrolysis. Here, methyl acetate is reacting with water. So, this is known as hydrolysis of methyl acetate. The products formed are acetic acid and methyl alcohol. This requires quite a long time. Hence, this is an example of a moderate reaction. We will now perform the following activity. Take barium chloride solution in one test tube. In another, take sodium sulphate solution. Add the two solutions. You will notice the white precipitate of barium sulphate is formed instantly. Can you indicate the type of reaction? Yes, it is a fast reaction. So students, now we can define fast reactions, moderate reactions and slow reactions. A fast reaction is the one in which the reaction takes place instantaneously or within a few seconds. A moderate reaction is the one in which the reaction takes place in a few minutes to few hours. A slow reaction is the one in which the reaction takes place in several hours and above.